Hello everyone, welcome back to more Steven Plays Starfield. On the last episode, whoo! Today, uh, talking to people to find out what it all means. Hard to oh god. Such jump. Where am I going? I did not take the stairs, but I I got up here. Look at all of you. Back from the underworld. Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there. But it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Sure did. Kaiser's got all the samples in storage. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vey Victus knew about this damn plan? That's what it sounded like. Huh. Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. Who did I promise? Oh, the, um, Deputy McIntyre? Is that who it was? When I became a citizen, they were like, promise me you won't say things. It's just, it wasn't a truck or a plushie, so it doesn't matter. That's exactly how I feel. Jesus, all these people with their dug on secrets. Now listen. If we could just keep, like, the war crime stuff to ourselves, we don't need to talk about that. And the fact that we kept the war criminal alive, we don't have to talk about that. Actually, we can't rule him out because Vey Victus is alive and under UC custody. I'm sorry. What? He's pulling my leg, right? Adrian? No, I don't believe he is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Vey Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. <laughs> oh, he and I are going to have some words. Good. We'll all meet back at Mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're going to want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. All right, I'm done getting frostbite and crippled every like six seconds. Let's go. Uh, let's go back to New Atlantis and talk to this guy. Let's have a chat. Well, what a pleasant surprise! When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian, of all places. I presumed you must be on to something big. Did you find what you were looking for? I don't know. Is there anything you want to tell me about your time in Londinian? I haven't been to Londinian in many years. Why? Is there some way I could be of assistance? Were you able to recover what you were looking for? Oh, we did. And a whole lot more. Good news, then. So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramorphs, no? We found a recording of you discussing the use of Terramorphs as a weapon. Did you? Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but... I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusion. 
solutions. After all, given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. I'm telling the cabinet what we learned. Consider this your chance to come clean. <laughs> you know you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then? I did it. The terror morph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Who have you been working with? All in due time. First, I want to see if you're truly as astute as you appear. So why would someone like me go through all this trouble? To work on something that long seems personal. You can be more right. The attacks were a correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found. But we were at war. And I can risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport. Fixing two problems at once. Halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak. And sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. You didn't even trust your own people in the UC? These were the final days of the colony war, Captain. The Freestar Collective had spies everywhere. I was concerned that if word got out, the Collective could swoop down, start breeding Lazarus plants, and overrun our worlds with waves of terramorphs. Just like what was happening on Londinian at that very moment. Sealing off the city to prevent mass death? It was the only option that made sense at the time. You just said it took you years to use the plane outside Londinia, and you killed them for nothing. Simple to say now, but with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter... She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. Orlais, why does that name sound familiar? Can't remember the many lives you've taken. Orlaze was the man whose death you brought about around the moon of Etheria, the pilot of the Warlock. Oh yeah, that guy. The man I had to eliminate to hide my secret. 
Yeah, that was unfortunate. I couldn't. I couldn't learn how to dock. <laughs> I promise. I didn't want to kill that man. I just could not learn how to dock his ship, so I blew it up. How could you have coordinated all this from in here? It wasn't easy. But the beauty of being loath is that people will do whatever they can not to deal with you. They wanted to pretend I didn't exist. And so I used their blind eye to my advantage. Still, establishing a back channel to Orlais via the UC recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led campaigns less nerve-wracking. They believed they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates, filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient. Dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands, all without the UC realizing whom you were actually dealing with. Slow work. <laughs> but as you can see, ultimately effective. So you murdered UC citizens because of some slight against your honor? You're sick. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. <laughs> well, hold on now. <laughs> what kind of honors are we talk? If you're waiting for me to say thank you, we're going to be here a while. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. You think I'm just going to forget the fact that you killed people to accomplish your good works? And how many have you killed to get where you are now? Seven. There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. I only hope you'll see the same and leave my name out of the discussions to come. I hope you've enjoyed this talk because once I tell the cabinet it'll probably be your last. That is a pity, Captain. But I'm in no position to negotiate. Though we needn't be enemies, you and I. Just think about the opportunity I've provided here. There are more on the horizon. If you do the right thing. Wild. That... That is wild. This, um... I mean... He's very intelligent. Like, is he a monster? Sure. But is he extremely intelligent and, like, thought all of this through immensely? Like, yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway. Let's go up to the cabinet. Yeah, I I do. Where are the? Where am I? I do wonder about what would have happened if I managed to keep that guy alive, because it would have he would have been like an actual witness, right? I don't have a witness. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news: the microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? <sighs> Vevictus confessed. He organized the attacks from his cell. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. Why? Did he say why he did it? He said he was trying to fix the damage done to the Sanan name, make you and him into heroes. <laughs> it takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. Somehow, after all that has transpired, he still believes himself to be the hero. He created this whole situation just so others would see him the way he sees himself. But all it has done is further expose him for what he really is. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. What do you think the cabinet will do to him? My hope would be that whatever connections he's got to the outside world disappear. Make sure his future schemes and machinations stay in his cell with him. But honestly, I'm not sure. He's in a unique position and has done a special kind of harm to the colonies. He deserves punishment. Exactly. Bring justice to everyone he's hurt. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the Cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Which method of dealing with the Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet wait, see if they have a preference. And both approaches to clearing our worlds are effective against heat leeches? They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Aceles seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> Alright. Let's head in there. And here we go. Hmm. Hi, Cabinet. We're here. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. Yep. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? That's correct, ma'am. It was a deliberate attack. My god. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais?
I don't know that I want to put that on Hadrian. Hadrian, I think you should tell him. Well, ma'am, it seems your report is incorrect. Francois Sanon was responsible for the attacks. He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation your group is leveling. Seeing as Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades, you have evidence to back this up? I got this. It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. Is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Vevictus sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. Whatever the cabinet thinks is the right course of action. It's well past due. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the Cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. I'm just a guy. Like, <laughs> I'm not the one that makes these friggin' decisions. Whatever. I'm glad you think so. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. I know that you don't know anything about this, because you're just a trucker. But why don't you tell us what to do? I guarantee you this doesn't matter at all. There's no way this matters. Sure. Microbe. 
Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. Let us hope this science division truly oh my God. knows what they are doing. Grand threats merit grand actions. And grand actions are precisely what our group does. Order, please. And Major Sanan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Why am I the today, guy that makes the... <laughs> day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division. Making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class 1 citizens to our ranks. Class 1? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about this or care. What is a Class 1 citizen? It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies or done great things for its cause. Class 1s enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods, and I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. All right. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander. Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Why even have a cabinet? What is the point of the cabinet? I don't understand what the point of the cabinet is. The galaxy's going to be a safe Hold on, place. I'm... This is bad. I shouldn't do this. But God, I'm just so just curious. You made a wise choice, Captain. This microbe is the clearest way to a terrible. No. <laughs> I did not. Okay. <laughs> I was like, security chief, what if you? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, where do I go get my stuff from this? I can instigate. I have the ability to instigate, so I instigated. I was like, hey. What is this I hear about heat leeches being baby terror morphs? I heard. And I've got to be honest, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it all. Alright. Stand clear of door, or jump into tracks. Know, One of the two. <laughs> yeah, news travels extremely fast. Wildly I fast. These rides are quick. I do not like being in small, enclosed spaces with many people. Where am I going? Oh, I was trying to walk here. Um, I can't walk. <laughs> the den. Hold on. Excuse me. Got anything you need to offload? I understand this station was once quite the luxurious Wait. place where you see military commanders. Based on what I see... I didn't know where I was going. This is a different mission. You look like you've got news. It better be good news. <laughs> I thought I was still on the same mission. Okay, come on, don't keep me in suspense. <laughs> when do I ship out? Oh, uh, <laughs> the news is even better than that. What? How could it be better? 
Oh, come on. Quit messing with me and just tell me already. <laughs> Congratulations. You're being awarded a special accommodation. Wow. Really? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, unique in the history of the Vanguard. That's good, right? Okay. Okay, finally some real recognition. Thanks for doing the legwork here. I'm not gonna forget that you helped me out. And someday, when I'm running the Vanguard, I'm gonna make sure you get paid big time. For now, though, my account's a little light, so this is the best I can do. But, but really, I mean it. I'm gonna remember this. Did he not read this? My biggest fan and supporter. How are you? Did you not re it? You didn't read it. What are you doing? Okay then. Okay. This was the guy that was like, they haven't given me a promotion, and I went and talked to the promotion people, and they're like, oh, that guy sucks. <laughs> we hate him. So I'll write a special letter that's like, go to hell. So I brought it to him and he's like, yay! <laughs> Return to Abe. Shut up, game. You know I can't do that. Deliver news about the Terramorph attack. I can deliver news, but I also need to figure out where my thing actually is. Where is the penthouse? I actually don't know. I am glad there is still a reliable source of news in the settled systems, though it often travels significantly slower than light my source is back here to report anything else i was at the terramorph attack on new atlantis really to say you have my undivided attention is an understatement a lot of people were there the accounts we've got were chaotic what was your role in that uh i mean i personally took out those terramorphs that pretty much saved the day wait wait I heard someone from Constellation was involved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was you? Yep. Oh, this is great. Like, embarrassingly important award-winning great. Yep. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? Uh... I felt alive. When everything is on the line, every moment seems like a gift. You never know quite how precious life is, until it's under threat. Yep. It sounds like New Atlantis, heck the whole UC, owes you a great debt. Sure. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. Um... Oh shoot! Everyone needs to know the man behind it. Ve Victus! What? You're serious? Uh, listen, Ve Victus is dead. Uh-huh. Like, documented historical event dead. I don't even want to get into it. God, it won't even let me select it. That's so upsetting. I, t I told you, it's Bay Victus. What? You're serious? Like... The Terramorph Management Division has been created to make sure it never happens again. After Bay Victus... That's a mouthful. A thankful you guys are around, mouthful. Hey, Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. Man, that would have been such a cool part of this if the news was like, Ve Victus is alive? Like, that would have been neat, and they didn't do that. You F we're close to the action here in You never do anything. Prime position to report on the big stories that affect you. All right. Okay, so let me look at uh, activities. Speak to Zora. In the mass district. Big jump. Hey. I'm always ready to make a deal. We love that. Well, well. If it isn't the United Colony's newest class one citizen. You've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. 
best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Yeah. Great. You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. <laughs> now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. I love that. That's in the residential district. Can't wait to see this place. Hit my head on the ceiling. Mercury Tower. No one works the front desk. What's this? I can't have it. The succulent is free. Suc it's you can't steal a succulent. Like it's that's not that's not possible. Succulents belong to everyone. <laughs> so this is the penthouse. Why is it stealing to use the fire? Ex what? And there's like a camera here to make sure you don't steal that. All right. Dang. Dang. This is a... This is big. This is nice. This is very, very big. Oh, there's a balcony. Oh, this is very cool. Dang. I think that's the stuff that we walked to. Perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell which direction that was in. This is a very cool view. I could also get on top of buildings real easy. I don't need to do that right now, but... Neat. I was wondering why this required the key, and I'm like, oh, I guess if you manage to get your get up here somehow from the outside, which seems hard, that you wouldn't be able to get in. Okay. Comes with a mug. Fridge bottom. This is a pantry? Kind of looks like. Big bathroom. Very nice. Okay. This is the master bedroom? Yeah. With its own balcony on the other side facing the UC building. I can see my ship from here. Oh, that's neat. Cool. A lot of... It's a lot of space. <laughs> neat. Now I'm on the roof. I need to not fall, though. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me not... <laughs> Mm. Perhaps not the wisest decision. I like how I like hurt my leg, and now Andre's just like, we need to talk. No, 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 fall. If you have oh, the time, God. I wish to speak to you. I also wish to speak to you. I need a second. Well, hold on. It is a relief to know that the Terramorphs are being dealt with. I wanted to tell you that I think you made the right decision. The microbes will ensure this is not a problem for much longer. <laughs> no point in taking chances! It's the only way to be sure! Yes, it sounds as though the microbes will be quite effective. Although, it may be taking a chance in a different way. D do you think there's a chance there could be unintended effects of using this untested microbe? I 
I mean, we're, 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 we're not gonna let anything happen. It'll be fine. I admire your confidence, and I do hope you are right. And I must say, I find it curious that you would agree keeping the Lazarus plant around is a good idea. It seems an additional unnecessary risk. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I, first off, I don't think I ever had a choice in that matter. I don't know why I'm the one making the decisions in the first place. But I feel like the UC was going to keep it around anyway. But you could have changed their minds. Oh my god, Andresia. I find it even more concerning that the United Colonies will keep this information secret. They have enough power already. They do not need this in their arsenal. Well, it is good to know that this particular threat is behind us. And you have done a service to all who live in the settled systems. I'm starting to become worried that I may not be able to get down. Let me just quick save in case this goes badly. Okay, there we go. Whew. Oh, wait, this, gee, mm, this is a bathroom. Good lord. What a fancy... One soap. <laughs> you get one soap. This isn't even the whole house. There's another bedroom. And laundry. This is neat. How do you put things in here? Because currently, there are no things in here. How do you put a thing in here? There's also speak to Commander Twala. And I'm, I'm kind of worried about this because I'm like, this happened after I got the thing. So is this related to the thing we just did? Hey. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. You're welcome. I mean, th thank you. <laughs> it's an honor. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Uh... Oh my god. Tell you, tell you one thing, man. I'd rather drink engine oil than live in New Atlantis, but at least the price is right. City life's not for everyone, I guess. <laughs> but a lot of folks would kill for that kind of real estate. But with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. No, no, no. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. No, I'm retired. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up terramorphs. I'm retired. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? None. Yeah. I've done my duty, Commander. I think I'm going to take some time off. Of course. You've earned some R&R. &R. Once you're rested up and ready to head out there again, you come see me. Yeah, that, that just reads as Radiant Quest City, the UC quest line as a whole, is done. Um, hi, Andrea. If we can avoid entering that building, I would prefer it. Let us just say I am allergic to bureaucracy. I get it. Uh, all right, so the very last thing that I want to do, speak to Percival. Wait, about what? Oh, about finding crap. No, 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 no. We don't find crap anymore. We don't do that. That's not what we do. I'm going back to residential. I want. I just want to be able to build a couch. That's all. Someone said that there was a thing on the wall that let you build. I want to see that. I didn't see anything in here. Is there a thing here? Is this it? Decorate. Hell yeah. Crafting. I want to craft. I want furniture. Furniture is what I want. Barrett's Memorial Portrait. Wow. That, yes. Where is that going?
You can only have one. There can only be one memorial portrait. Disappointing picture. It can go, look, it can go on the wall with the... <laughs> oh, warning. Oh, hold on. I need a, I need a, I need a bed. This is a bed? That's not, well, a big bed. Caught. Where is big bed? Where is Big Bed? What? Are you ki- What? What do you- What do you- There is- There is not Big Bed! I'm guessing it's something you have to unlock? That's- Wild. That's absolutely wild. I will do a bunk bed. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to be able to have all my friends over. <laughs> all right. That was a good use of my fiber and aluminum. Now everyone can like stay here. I'll also need a refrigerator. Um, I guess that can go in the, that's work. It goes in the kitchen. Wait, I have a fridge already. This can be the extra fridge. I can go here. That's, this is the, this is the drink fridge. This is modify mode, and then there's build mode. Okay. <laughs> Finally, a use for all these st st stupid crafting materials. Uh, <laughs> whiteboard. Oh, you can have a lot of whiteboards. Sorry, this 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 room is under construction. You can't go in there. <laughs> There's a dartboard. That's kind of neat. Have one of them. And special dartboard. A mannequin. That's good. Can you put it outside? You can a little bit. Oh, now I'm out of stuff to do mannequins. You can do display cases and weapon racks. This is a Bethesda game. And let's do... I can't believe you can't have a forklift in here. To remind myself of the time spent fighting Terramorphs. It's a good spot for that. Some of the places it'll let you put it is is wild. That's very good. Oh, I'm out of. <laughs> Can I put this? I'm so close to getting it to work. In like one of these. Stupid spots. What is track? Oh, that's that's so you can find the resources in the world, like Fallout. No, no, no. I'm never going to do that. Oh, there we... Yes! That's very good! I am very much a fan of that. That goes there. You can't put these things on the ceiling. It's upsetting. I knew if if I believed in myself enough, I could I could get it to work how I wanted it to. 
And I did. Just, you have to believe. You just have to believe hard enough. And you can make, and you can make your dreams come true. This is a good... That just is floating. Is there a good lamp that doesn't suck? This is furniture, like a big lamp. There's cabinets, shelf, refrigerator. <laughs> Keep making refrigerators. I'll build like a couch or a chair. Can I have a chair that, does it have to be on the ground? Oh, wait, no it does not. That chair goes up there. That chair goes right here. The bench fit up here? Yes. Do you need to take a sit? Sit on my counters. <laughs> Woo! Woo! If you get cold in the night, move over to this sleeping bag. Hoo-wee! All right. I think I think I've done everything I need to do. I've learned a lot about life. This is, oh, this is actually genuinely good to have. If I ever need to clear my bounty for some reason there, it's there. Uh, okay, I won't need anything else ever again. Can you put this like on the top of, no, nah, it won't let you do that. <laughs> this item is floating. Oh, okay. All right, hold the exit. Now, just because I am, like, briefly worried that this will break something... <laughs> I do an actual save. You gonna... Sit? You wanna sit? Also, if there's a chair... You have to jump up on top of the counter. But if you jump up on top of the counter... We got one over there. And Jay's just like, what's wrong with you? Okay. The bed's not as exciting because there's no animation for it. This... I didn't realize it was facing this direction. <laughs> it's just facing the wall. Oh. Oh. Is this one facing the same direction? No, this one's facing out. Okay, they're facing two different spots. Thank you for joining me! Oh, I'm so excited that you got up here with me. This is, I can't see you, but I know you're over there. This is great, this is a great house. This is, I'm so glad that the city gave me this. Oh no, I knocked over the, the, the succulent. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. House of the year. And I got a bodyguard. This is wonderful. Cool. All right. I'm satisfied. <laughs>